Welcome to this lesson on exponential applications. So we're going to look at growth functions first. And remember, growth just means it's growing from left to right when you graph. And there is a formula for growth functions. y equals a, parentheses, 1 plus r, close parentheses, to the t power. So a means your initial amount, what you start with. 1 plus r is your growth factor. And I want you to make a note that r is usually a percentage. And then t is time. All right, so let's look at the first one. The population of a town is currently 8,250. So that's what we're starting with. That's our a. It's increasing at 3% each year. So this 3%, that's my R. And then what will the population be in 10 years? That's my T. All right, so let's make our formula here. So we're starting at 8,250. And then it's parentheses 1 plus... Now, your R, your percent, you need to change it to a decimal. You need to change your R to a decimal. So you may want to add that note. And you do that by moving the decimal 2 to the right. So right now it's 3.0%. To change it to a decimal, you move to the left 2. So it would be 0.03. And then our T is 10. All right, so I'm going to simplify in the parentheses first. That would be 1.03. And then from there, you should be able to type it in your calculator exactly like it looks. So 8250, parentheses, 1.03 and then an exponent of 10. And by the way, for exponent, usually in your calculator, you're looking for the caret key, which looks like that. That will make your 10 an exponent. Type that before 10. All right, so my answer is 11,087. And since you're talking about people, population, we're gonna leave it as a whole number. All right, next one, the salary, the starting salary at a job is 24,000. That's my start, my initial amount, A. The job offers an increase of 1.5% each year. That's my R. How much will an employee make after six years? That's my T. So Y equals 24,000, one plus, now we need to change this 1.5% to a decimal. So I'm gonna move it two to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.015 and then to the sixth power. All right, I'm going to simplify in the parentheses. And then from there, I can type it in my calculator. 24,000 parentheses, 1.015, close parentheses. Use that caret key to the sixth power. And that gave me 26,242. Now this is money, so we want to the hundreds place, six, four, and make sure you put the dollar sign out front. So after six years, with that increase, someone is gonna make $26,242 and 64 cents. Now decay is very similar the only difference is instead of an addition sign in the parentheses, you're going to have a subtraction sign. So example number one, Yasser bought a car in 2012 for $16,000. That's our A. The car's value has been decreasing at a rate of 7% each year. So that's how you know it's a decay function. You see that word decreasing. And then the other problems I saw increasing, increasing. So that's growth. So this one's decay. And this is going to be my R. 
how much was the car worth in 2018? So this one doesn't give us a T specifically. We're going to have to figure out the T. So if he bought the car in 2012, and we want to know how much the car was worth in 2018, we want to figure out how much time has passed since then. Well, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's six years. So that's my T. Okay, so Y equals 16,001 minus, we need to change that 7% to a decimal, so two to the left, 0.076. Okay, so let's simplify inside parentheses first. One minus 0 0.07 is 0.93 to the sixth power. And then from there, you can use your calculator. So 16,000 parentheses, 0 0.93 to the sixth power. And that gives me $10,351.84. All right, example number two, a stock investment is depreciating, that means it's getting smaller, at a rate of 3%, that's our R. If the initial investment was 12,000, that's our A, how much will it be worth in eight years, that's our T. So Y equals 12,000, one minus, we need to change 3% to a decimal, so one, two, 0.03 to the eighth power. Simplify inside parentheses, 0.97 to the eighth power. And then plug it in your calculator. And you get $9,404.92. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.